back to the channel. Today, we are covering the questions and answer on Splunk Core Certified User SPLK1001. To find the complete list of questions and answer, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel. Now, the question is, when saving a search directly to a dashboard panel instead of saving as a report first, which of the following is created? Options are, option A, cloned panel, option B, inline panel, option C, report panel, and option D. Pre-built panel. The correct option is option B. Next question is which of the following statements describe a search job? Options are option A. Once a search job begins, it cannot be stopped. Option B. A search job can only be paused when less than 50% of events are returned. Option C. A search job can only be stopped when less than 50% of events are returned. And option D. Once a search job begins, it can be stopped or paused at any point in time. The correct option is option D. Next question is, which search will return only events containing the word error and display the results as a table that includes the fields named action, src and dest. These are the options. Please go through. The correct option is option A. Next question is which of the following reports is available in the fields window? Options are option A top values by time, option B rare values by time, option C events with top value fields, and option D, events with rare value fields. The correct option is option A. Next question is, in the search and reporting app, which tab displays time charts and bar charts? Options are, option A, events, Option B, Patterns. Option C, Statistics. And Option D, Visualization. The correct option is Option D. Next question is, what will always appear in the selected fields list? Options are, Option A, Index. Option B, Action. Option C, Client Tip. And Option D, Source Type. The correct option is Option D. Next question is, What is the correct way to use a time range specifier in the search bar so that the search looks back two hours? And the options are option A latest is equal to minus 2 H. Option B earliest is equal to minus 2 H. Option C latest is equal to minus 2 hour at the rate D. And option D earliest is equal to minus 2 hour at the rate D. The correct option is. Option B. 
Next question is, which of the following is a Splunk internal field? Options are, option A, underscore raw, option B, host, option C, underscore host, and option D, index. The correct option is option A. Next question is, which command will rename action to customer actions? Options are, option A, rename action is equal to customer action. Option B, rename action as customer action. Option C, rename action to customer action and option D rename action as customer action the correct option is option D next question is which of the following is the most important sorry the most efficient search these are the options please go through The correct option is option D. Next question is which of the following is a correct way to limit search results to display the five most common values of a field? Options are option A rear top is equal to 5. Option B top rear is equal to 5. Option C, top limit is equal to 5. And option D, rear limit is equal to 5. The correct option is option C. Next question is, when viewing the results of a search job from the activity menu, which of the following is displayed? Options are Option A New events based on the current time range picker Option B The same events based on the current time range picker Option C The same events from when the original search was executed And Option D New events in addition to the same events from the original search The correct option is option C. Next question is, what is a quick comprehensive way to learn what data is present in a Splunk deployment? Options are, option A, review Splunk reports. Option B, run dot slash Splunk show. Option C, Click data summary in Splunk web and option D. Search index is equal to star source type is equal to star host is equal to star. The correct option is option C. Next question is assuming a user has the capability to edit reports which of the following are editable. Options are Option A, acceleration, schedule, permissions. Option B, the report's name, schedule, permissions. Option C, the report's name, acceleration, schedule. And option D, the report's name, acceleration, permissions. The correct option is option A. Next question is, which of the following is a metadata field assigned to every event in Splunk? Options are, option A, host, option B, owner, option C, bytes, 
and option D action the correct option is option A next question is what are the two most efficient search filters options are option A time and host option B time and index option C host and source type and option D index and source type the correct option is option B next question is which of the following is the best way to create a report that shows the last 24 hours of events these are the options please go through the correct option is option D next question is when is the pipe character I used in search strings options are option A before clauses for example stats some bytes by host option B before commands for example stats some bytes by host option C before arguments for example stats some bytes by host and option D before functions for example stats some bytes by host The correct option is option B. Thank you. Back to the channel. Today we are covering the questions and answer on Splunk Core Certified User SPLK1001. To find the complete list of questions and answer, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. If you find this video helpful, please let us know in the comment section. We really appreciate if you like and subscribe to our channel. Now, the question is, what are the steps to schedule a report? Options are, option A, after saving the report, click schedule. Option B, after saving the report, click event type. Option C, after saving the report, click scheduling and option D after saving the report click dashboard panel the correct option is option A next question is in the fields sidebar what indicates that a field is numeric options are option A a number to the right of the field name option B a hashtag symbol to the left of the field name option C a lowercase n to the left of the field name and option D a lowercase n to the right of the field name the correct option is option B Next question is, which of the following are functions of the stats command? Options are, option A, count sum at, option B, count sum less, option C, sum average values, and option D, sum values table. The correct option is option C. Next question is at index time in which field does Splunk store the timestamp values? Options are option A time, option B underscore time, option C event time, 
and option D time stamp. The correct option is option B. Next question is which of the following is a best practice when writing a search string? Options are option A include all formatting commands before any search terms. Option B include at least one function as this is a search requirement. Option C include the search terms at the beginning of the search string most quoted. And option D avoid using formatting clauses as they add too much overhead. The correct option is option C. Next question is what types of search can be saved as a report? Options are option A. Any search can be saved as a report. Option B. Only searches that generate visualizations. Option C. Only searches containing a transforming command and option D only searches that generate statistics or visualizations the correct option is option A next question is what can be included in the all field options in the sidebar Options are Option A Dashboards Option B Metadata only Option C None interesting fields most voted And Option D Field descriptions The correct option is Option C Next question is, when viewing the results of a search, what is an interesting field? Options are, option A, a field that appears in any event. Option B, a field that appears in every event. Option C, a field that appears in the top 10 events. And option D, a field that appears in at least 20% of the events. The correct option is option D. Next question is when a Splunk search generates calculated data that appears in the statistics tabs in what formats can the results be exported. Options are Option A CSV JSON PDF Option B CSV XML JSON Option C Raw Events XML JSON and Option D Raw Events CSV XML J S O N. The correct option is option B. Next question is which search matches the events containing the terms error and fail? Options are option A. Index is equal to security error fail most voted. Option B. Index is equal to security error or fail. Option C. Index is equal to security error failure. And option D. Index is equal to security not error not fail.
The correct option is option A. Next question is which of the following is an option after clicking an item in search results? Options are option A saving the item to a report, option B adding the item to the search, option C adding the item to a dashboard and option D saving the search to a JSON file. The correct option is option B. Next question is which of the following fields is stored with the events in the index? Options are option A user, option B source, option C location and option D source IP. The correct option is option B. Next question is which of the following is the recommended way to create multiple dashboards displaying data from the same search? Options are option A save the search as a report and use it in multiple dashboards as needed. Option B save the search as a dashboard panel for each dashboards that needs the data. Option C. Save the search as a scheduled alert and use it in multiple dashboards as needed. And option D. Export the results of the search to an XML file and use the file as the basis of the dashboard. The correct option is option A. Next question is What does the following specified time range do? Earliest is equal to minus 72 H at the rate H latest is equal to at the rate D. Options are Option A look back 3 days ago and prior. Option B. Look back 72 hours up to one day ago. Option C. Look back 72 hours up to the end of today. And Option D. Look back from three days ago up to the beginning of today. The correct option is option D. Next question is which events will be returned by the following search string? Host is equal to www3, status is equal to 503. Options are option A all events that either have a host of www3 or all status of 503. Option B. All events with host of www3 that also have a status of 503. Option C. We need more information we cannot tell without knowing the time range. And option D. We need more information. A search can be, sorry, cannot be run without specifying an index. The correct option is option B. Thank you to the channel. Today we are covering the questions and answer on Splunk Core Certified User SPLK1001. To find the complete list of questions and answer, please Go to the pl playlist link provided in the description. Our team is working hard 
to keep the content up to date. If you find this video helpful, please let us know in the comment section. We really appreciate if you like and subscribe to our channel. Now, the question is, by default, which role contains the minimum permissions required to have right access to Splunk alerts? Options are, Option A, Alerting, Option B, Admin, Option C, Power, Most Voted, and Option D, User. The correct option is option C. Next question is which of the following is the appropriately formatted SPL search? Options are these are the options. Please go through. The correct option is option B. Next question is when using the top command in the following search, which of the following will be true about results? Index is equal to main, source type is equal to access underscore star, action is equal to purchase, top three status code by user, so perk is equal to F, count field is equal to status code count options are option a the percentage field will be displayed in the results option b the top three most common values in status code will be displayed for each user option c the search will fail the proper top command format is top limit is equal to 3 instead of top 3 and option D only the top 3 overall most common values in status code will be displayed. The correct option is option B. Next question is Splunk apps are used for following choose three options. And the options are option A designed to cater numerous use cases and empower Splunk. Option B we cannot install Splunk app. Option C allows multiple workspaces for different use cases or user roles. Option D it is a collection of different Splunk config files like data inputs UI and knowledge object. The correct option is option A, C and D. Next question is which of the following represents the Splunk recommended naming convention for dashboards? Options are option A Description group object. Option B group description object. Option C group object description. And option D object group description. The correct option is option C. Next question is, which of the following is the best way to create a report that shows the last 24 hours of events? These are the options. Please go through. The correct option is option D. Next question is matching search terms are highlighted. Options are option A yes and option B no. 
the correct option is option a next question is keywords are highlighted when you mouse over search results and you can click this search result to choose three options and the options are option a open a new search option b exclude the item from search option c none of the above and option d add the item to search the correct option is option a next question is dash transforms raw data into events and distributes the results into an index options are option a index option b search head option c indexer and option d forward the correct option is option c next question is what does the values function of the stats command do options are option a lists all values of a given field option b lists unique values of a given field most quoted option c returns a count of unique values for a given field and option d returns the number of events that match the search the correct option is option b next question is what must be done in order to use a lookup table in splunk options are option a the lookup must be configured to run automatically option b the contents of the lookup file must be copied and pasted into the search bar option c the lookup file must be uploaded to splunk and a lookup definition must be created and option d the lookup file must be uploaded to the etc or apps or lookup folder for automatic ingestion the correct option is option c next question is when viewing the results of a search what is an interesting field options are option a a field that appears in any event option b a field that appears in every event option c a field that appears in the top 10 events and option d a field that appears in at least 20% of the events the correct option is option d next question is the four types of lookups that splunk provides out of the box are external kv store geospatial and which of the following options are option a correlated option b total option c segmented and option d file based the correct option is option d to the channel today we are covering the questions and answer on splunk core certified user splk1101 to find the complete list of questions and answer please go to the playlist link provided in the description if you find this video helpful please like and subscribe to our channel
Now the question is when editing a dashboard which of the following are possible options choose all that apply options are option a add an output option b export a dashboard panel option c modify the chart type displayed in a dashboard panel and option d drag a dashboard panel to a different location on the dashboard the correct option is option c next question is when running searches command modifiers in the search string are displayed in what color options are option a red option b blue option c orange and option d highlighted the correct option is option b next question is which of the following represents the splunk recommended naming convention for dashboards options are option a description group object option b group description object option c group object description and option d object group description the correct option is option c next question is how can search results be kept longer than 7 days options are option a by scheduling a report most voted option b by creating a link to the job option c by changing the job settings and option d by changing the time range picker to more than 7 days the correct option is option a next question is which of the following is a splunk search best practice options are option a filter as early as possible option b never specify more than one index option c includes as few search i sorry terms as possible and option d use wild cards to return more search results the correct option is option a next question is when looking at a dashboard panel that is based on a report which of the following is true options are option a you can modify the search string in the panel and you can change and configure the visualization option b you can modify the search string in the panel but you cannot change and configure the visualization option c you cannot modify the search string in the panel but you can change and configure the visualization and option d you cannot modify the search string in the panel and you cannot change and configure the visualization the correct option is option c next question is which of the following are common constants of the top 
command options are option a limit count option b limit show percent option c limits count field and option d show perk count field most voted the correct option is option d next question is when displaying results of a search which of the following is true about line charts options are option a line charts are optimal for single and multiple series most voted option b line charts are optimal for single series when using fast mode option c line charts are optimal for multi series searches with at least two or more columns the correct option is option a next question is how are events displayed after a search is executed options are option a in chronological order option b randomly by default option c in reverse chronological order most voted and option d alphabetically according to field name the correct option is option c next question is which of the following is true about user account settings and preferences options are option a search and reporting is the only app that can be set as the default application option b full names can only be changed by accounts with a power user or admin role option c time zones are automatically updated based on the setting of the computer assessing splunk and option d full name time zone and default app can be defined by clicking the login name in the splunk bar the correct option is option d next question is what is the primary function of a scheduled report options are option a auto detect change in performance option b auto generated pdf reports of overall data trends option c regularly scheduled archiving to keep disk space use low and option d triggering an alert in your splunk instance when certain conditions are met the correct option is option d next question is after running a search what effect does clicking and dragging across the timeline have options are option a executes a new search option b filters current search results most voted option c moves to past or future events and option d expands the time range of the search the correct option is option b next question is which command is used to review the contents of a specified static lookup file options are option a lookup option b csv lookup option c input lookup and option d output lookup the correct option is option c 
next question is what must be done in order to use a lookup table in splunk options are option a the lookup must be configured to run automatically option b the contents of the lookup file must be copied and posted sorry and pasted into the search bar option c the lookup file must be uploaded to splunk and a lookup definition must be created option d the lookup file must be uploaded to the etc or apps or lookups folder for automatic ingestion the correct option is option c thank you channel today we are covering the questions and answer on splunk core certified user SPLK 1001. To find the complete list of questions and answer, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. If you find this video helpful, please let us know in the comment section. We really appreciate if you like and subscribe to our channel. Now, the question is how can results from a specified static lookup file be displayed? options are option a lookup command option b input lookup command option c setting lookups input and option d settings lookups upload the correct option is option b next question is in the fields sidebar what does the number directly to the right of the field name indicate? Options are Option A The value of the field Option B The number of values for the field Option C The number of unique values for the field And Option D The numeric none unique values of the field The correct option is option C. Next question is what is the default lifetime for sorry of every Splunk search job? Options are option A all search jobs are saved for 10 days. Option B all search jobs are saved for 10 hours. Option C all Search jobs are saved for 10 weeks. And option D, all search jobs are saved for 10 minutes. The correct option is option D. Next question is, which search will return the 15 least common field values for the best IP field. These are the options. Please go through. The correct option is option D. Next question is what is an alert triggered? Options are Option A, when Splunk encounters a syntax error in a search. Option B, when an event in a search matches with, sorry, matches up with a data model. Option D, when the results of a search meet a specifically defined conditions. The correct option is option D. Next question is, what are the three main 
Splunk components. Options are option A search head GPU streamer. Option B search head indexer for water. Option C search head SQL database for water. And option D search head SSD heavyweight agent. The correct option is option B. Next question is which statement describes field discovery at search time? Options are option A Splunk automatically discovers only numeric fields. Option B Splunk automatically discovers only alphanumeric fields. Option C Splunk automatically discovers only manually configured fields. And option D Splunk automatically discovers only fields directly related to the search results. The correct option is option D. Next question is which field or value payer will return only events found in the index named security. Options are option A index is equal to security. Option B index is equal to security. Option C index is equal to security and option D index is equal to security. The correct option is option B. Next question is in the search and reporting app which is a default selected field. Options are option A index, option B host most voted, option C underscore time and option D action. The correct option is option B. Next question is which search string only returns events from host www3? Options are option A host is equal to star, option B host is equal to www3, option C host is equal to www star and option D host is equal to www3. The correct option is option B. Next question is by default how long does Splunk retain a search job? Options are option A 10 minutes, option B 15 minutes, option C 1 day and option D 7 days. The correct option is option A. Next question is what must be done before an automatic lookup can be created? Choose all that apply. Options are Option A The lookup command must be used. Option B The lookup definition must be created. Option C The lookup field must be uploaded to Splunk. And option D The lookup file must be verified using the input lookup command. The correct option is option B. Next question is which of the following Splunk components typically resides on the machines where data originates? Options are option A indexer, option B forwarder, option C search head and option D. Deployment server. The correct option is 
option b next question is what determines the scope of data that appears in a scheduled report options are option a all data accessible to the user role will appear in the report option b all data accessible to the owner of the report will appear in the report most voted option c all data accessible to all users will appear in the report until the next time the report is run option d the owner of the report can configure permissions so that the report uses either the user role or the owner's profile at run time the correct option is option b next question is when writing searches in splunk which of the following is true about booleans options are option a they must be lower case option b they must be upper case option c they must be in quotations and option d they must be parenthesis parenthesis the correct option is option b next question is which of the following searches would return events with failure in index net fw or won or critical in index net ops options are option a index is equal to net fw failure and index is equal to net ops won or practical option b index is equal to net fw failure or index is equal to net ops won or cap sorry critical option c index is equal to net fw failure and index is equal to net ops won or critical and option d index is equal to net fw failure or index is equal to net ops or won or capital the correct option is option b next question is select the answer that displays the accurate placing of the pipe in the following search strings index is equal to security source type is equal to access underscore star status is equal to 200 stats count by price these are the options please go through the correct option is option b next question is which of the following constraints can be used with the top command options are option a limit most voted option b use perk option c add totals and option d field count the correct option is option a thank you come back to the channel today we are covering the questions and answer on splunk core certified user splk1001 to find the complete list of questions and answer please go to the playlist link provided in the description if you are looking for any particular certification which is currently not available on our channel please mention that in the comment section we really sorry our team will prioritize those now the question is 
what does this stats commands do options are option a automatically correlates related fields option b converts field values into numeral values option c calculates statistics on data that matches the search criteria and option d analyzes numerical fields for their ability to predict another discrete field the correct option is option c next question is which is the primary function of the timeline located under the search bar options are option a to differentiate between structured and unstructured events in the data option b to sort the events returned by the search command in the chronological order option d to zoom in and zoom out although this does not change the scale of the chart and option d to show peaks and or values in the timeline which can indicate spikes in activity or downtime the correct option is option d next question is what can be configured using the edit job settings menu options are option a export the result to csv format option b add the job results to a dashboard option c schedule the job to rerun in 10 minutes and option d change job lifetime from 10 minutes to 7 days the correct option is option d next question is which command is used to validate a lookup file options are option a lookup products dot csv option b input lookup products dot csv option c input lookup products dot csv and option d lookup definition products dot csv the correct option is option c next question is which statement is true about the top command options are option a it returns the top 10 results option b it displays the output in table format option c it returns the count and percent columns per row and option d all of the above the correct option is option d next question is where does licensing meter happen options are option a indexer option b parsing option c heavy forwarder and option d input the correct option is option a next question is which of the following statements about case sensitivity is true options are option a both field names and field values are case sensitive option b field names are case sensitive field values are not option c field values are case sensitive field names are not and option d both 
field names and field values are not case sensitive. The correct option is option B. Next question is how can another user gain access to a saved report? Options are option A the owner of the report can edit permissions from the edit drop down. Option B only users with an admin or power user role can access other users report. Option C anyone can access any reports marked as public within a shared Splunk deployment. And option D the owner of the report must clone the original report and save it to their user account. The correct option is option A. Next question is upload options creates inputs.conf. Option is yes or no. The correct option is option B. Next question is when refining search results what is the difference in the time picker between real time and re relative time ranges? Options are option A real time searches display results from a rolling time window while Relative searches display results from a set length of time. Option B. Real-time searches happen instantly while re relative searches happen at a scheduled time. Option C. Real-time represents events that have happened in a set time window while relative will display results from a rolling time window. And option D, real-time searches run constantly in the background while relative searches only run when certain criteria are met. The correct option is option A. Next question is, what is the result of the following search? Index is equal to my index source is equal to c colon slash my data dot txt not error is equal to star options are option a only data where the value of the field error does not equal an asterisk star will be displayed option b only data that does not contain the error field will be displayed option c only data with a value in the field error will be displayed and option d only data where the error field is present and does not contain a value will be displayed the correct option is Option B. Next question is a SOC manager is complaining that a scheduled alert for failed login attempts triggered 150 emails. They still want to be alerted of failed logins via email but they want less volume of alerts which of the following would resolve this from sorry for the soc manager options are option a change the schedule so the alert runs more frequently option b disable the alert entirely option c change the trigger from for each results to once. Option D change the alert action from email to web hook.
the correct option is option C. Thank you. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are covering the questions and answer on Splunk Core Certified User SPLK1001. To find the complete list of questions and answer, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel. Now, the question is in the fields sidebar, which character denotes alphanumeric field values? Options are Option A hashtag option b percentage option c a and option d a hashtag the correct option is option c next question is what is the main requirement for creating visualization using the splunk ui options are Option A, your search must transform event data into Excel file format first. Option B, your search must transform event data into XML formatted data first. Option C, your search must transform event data into statistical data tables first, most voted. Option D, your search must transform event data into JSON formatted data first. The correct option is option C. Next question is what syntax is used to link key or value pairs in search strings? These are the options. Please go through. The correct option is option B. Next question is what user interface components allows for time selections? Options are option A time summary, option B time range picker, option C search time picker and option D data source time statistics. The correct option is option B. Next question is which of the following searches will return results where fail 400 and error exists in every event? Options are option A error and fail and 400 most voted. Option B error or fail and 400. Option C, error and fail or 400. And option D, error or fail or 400. The correct option is option A. Next question is, when placed early in a search, which command is most effective at Reducing search execution time. Options are Option A. Dead up. Option B. Rename. Option C. Sort. And option D. Fields plus most voted. The correct option is Option D. Next question is which of the following is the most efficient filter for running searches in Splunk? Options are Option A. Time most voted Option B. Fast mode Option C. Source type and Option D. Selected fields The correct option is option A. 
Next question is How does Splunk determine which fields to extract from data? Options are Option A Splunk only extract the most interesting data from the last 24 hours. Option B Splunk only extracts fields users have manually specified in their data. Option C Splunk automatically extracts any fields that generate interesting visualizations. And option D Splunk automatically discovers many fields based on source type and key or value pairs found in the data. The correct option is option D. Next question is which of the following file types is an option for exporting Splunk search results? Options are option A PDF, option B JSON most voted, option C XLS and option D RTF. The correct option is option B. Next question is what syntax is used to link key or value pairs in search string? These are the options. Please go through. The correct option is option D. Next question is which search even sorry search string returns a file containing the number of matching events and names that field event found sorry count. These are the options please go through. The correct option is option B. Next question is which search would return events from the excess combined source type? Options are option A source type is equal to excess combined. Option B source type is equal to excess combined. Option C source type is equal to excess combined most voted. Option C, source type is equal to excess combined. The correct option is option C. Next question is, which of the following index searches would provide the most efficient search performance? Options are, Option A, index is equal to star. Option B, index is equal to web or index is equal to S star. Option C, index is equal to web or index is equal to sales, most voted. Option D, star, index is equal to sales and index is equal to web star. The correct option is option C. Next question is what is a suggested Splunk best practice for naming reports? Options are option A reports are best named using many numbers so they can be more easily sorted. Option B use a consistent naming convention so they are easily separated by characteristics such as group and object. Option C, name reports as uniquely as possible with no overlap to differentiate them from one another. And option D, any naming convection is fine as long as 
you keep an external spreadsheet to keep track. The correct option is option B. Next question is in a deployment with multiple indexes, what will happen when a search is run and an index is not specified in the search string? Options are Option A. No events will be returned. Option B. Splunk will prompt you to specify an index. Option C. All non-indexed events to which the user has access will be returned. And option D. Events from every index searches by default to which the user has access will be returned. The correct option is option D. Next question is when looking at a statistics table, what is the one way to drill down to see the underlying events? Options are option A creating a pivot table, option B clicking on the visualizations tab, option C viewing your report in a dashboard and option D clicking on the field value in the table most voted. The correct option is option D. Next question is in the Splunk interface the list of alerts can be filtered based on which characteristics options are option a app owner severity and type most voted option b app owner priority and status option c app dashboard severity and type and option d app time window type and severity The correct option is option A. Thank you. Come back to the channel. Today we are covering the questions and answer on Splunk Core Certified User SPLK1001. To find the complete list of questions and answer, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. Our team is working hard to keep the content up to date if you find this video helpful, please let us know in the comment section. We really appreciate if you like and subscribe to our channel. Now, the question is, when sorting on multiple fields with the sort command, what delimiter can be used between the field names in the search? These are the options. Please go through. The correct option is option D. Next question is which time range picker configuration would return real time events for the past 30 seconds? Options are option A preset relative 30 seconds ago. Option B earliest sorry option B relative earliest 30 seconds ago latest now option c real time earliest 30 seconds ago latest now and option d advanced earliest 30 seconds ago latest now the correct option is option c next question is what is the correct syntax to count the number of events containing a vendor action field options are option a count stats vendor action option b count stats bracket 
vendor action bracket close option c stats count bracket vendor action bracket close and option d stats vendor action bracket count and bracket close the correct option is option c next question is what is one benefit of creating dashboard panels from reports options are option a any newly created dashboard will include that report option b there are no benefits to creating dashboard panels from reports option c it makes the dashboard more efficient because it only has to run one search string and option d any change to the underlying report will affect every dashboard that utilizes that report most voted the correct option is option d next question is by default which of the following fields would be listed in the fields sidebar under interesting fields options are option a host option b index most voted option c source and option d source type the correct option is option b next question is which of the following statements about case sensitivity is true options are option a both field names and field values are case sensitive option b field names are case sensitive field values are not option c field values are case sensitive field names are not and option d both field names and field values are not case sensitive the correct option is option b next question is what does the rear command do options are option a returns the least common field values of a given field in the results option b returns the most common field values of a given field in the results option c returns the top 10 field values of a given field in the results and option d returns the lowest 10 field values of a given field in the results the correct option is option a next question is when an alert action is configured to run a script splunk must be able to locate the script which is one of the directories splunk will look into find the script these are the options please go through next question is sorry the correct option is option a next question is which boolean operator is always implied between two search terms unless otherwise specified options are option a or option b not option c and an option d x o r the correct option is option c next question is what does the values function of the stats command do options are option a lists all values of a given field option b lists unique values of a given field most voted option c returns a count of unique values for a given field and option d returns the number of events that match the search
the correct option is option b next question is which stats command function provides a count of how many unique values exist for a given field in the result set options are option a dc field option b count field option c count by field and option d distinct count field the correct option is option a next question is a collection of items containing things such as data inputs ui elements and knowledge objects is known as what options are option a an app option b json option c a role an option d an enhanced solution the correct option is option a next question is which statement is true about splunk alerts options are option a alerts are based on searches that are either run on a scheduled interval or in real time option b alerts are based on searches and when triggered with only send an email notification option c alerts are based on searches and require cron to run on scheduled intervals and option d alerts are based on searches that are run exclusively as real time the correct option is option a next question is what is the purpose of using a by clause with the stats command options are option a to group the results by one or more fields option b to compute numerical statistics on each field option c to specify how the values in a list are delimited and option d to partition the input data based on the split by fields the correct option is option a next question is how do you add or remove fields from risk sorry from search results options are option a use field plus to add and field minus to remove option b use table plus to add and table minus to remove option c use field plus to add and fields this to remove and option d use fields plus to add and fields minus to remove the correct option is option c next question is a field exists in search results but is not being displayed in the fields sidebar how can it be added to the fields sidebar options are option a click all fields and select the field to add it to selected fields option b click interesting fields and select the field to add it to selected fields option c click selected fields and select the field to add it to interesting fields and option d this scenario is not possible because all fields returned from a search always appear in the fields sidebar the correct option is option a thank you back to the channel today we are covering the questions and answer on 
the Splunk Core Certified User SPLK1001. To find the complete list of questions and answer, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. Our team is working hard to keep the content up to date. If you find this video helpful, please let us know in the comment section. We really appreciate if you like and subscribe to our channel. Now, the question is, all components are installed and administered in Splunk Enterprise on-premise. Options are, option A, true, option B, false. The correct option is, option A. Next question is, log filtering or parsing can be done from dash options are option a index forwarders option b universal forwarders option c super forwarder and option d heavy forwarders the correct option is option d Next question is, what is the default app for Splunk Enterprise? Options are, option A, Splunk Enterprise Security Suit. Option B, Searching and Reporting. Option C, Reporting and Searching. And option D, Splunk Apps for Security. The correct option is option B. Next question is what kind of logs can Splunk index? Options are option A only A or B. Option B router and switch logs. Option C firewall and web server logs. Option D only C. Option E. Database logs. And option F. All firewall, web server, database, router and switch logs. The correct option is option F. Next question is. Portal for Splunk apps can be accessed through www.splunkbase.com. Options are Option A. False. Option B. True. The correct option is Option B. Next question is Splunk shows data in dash. Options are Option A, ASCII character order. Option B, reverse chronological order. Option C, alphanumeric order. And option D, chronological order. The correct option is option B. Next question is, which of the following can be used as wildcard search in Splunk? These are the options. Please go through. The correct option is option D. Next question is, what results will you get with the following search index? is equal to test source type is equal to the question IRP star. Options are option A the question IRPedia, option B the question IRPedia, option C the question IRPedia and option D the question IRPedia. The correct option is option C. Next question is, prefix wildcards might cause performance issues. 
true or false. 